Hello, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to spawn enemies. So first, I want to make my airplane more smooth when it moves. So if I click the green flag, you can see it's not as smooth. And if I point into the middle of the airplane, it glitches out. So I'm going to stop the project, and I'm going to go to variables and make a variable. I'm going to call this airplane speed and press OK. I'm then going to hide this. Let's go to operators and take out a divided by and put it in the move 30 steps. I'm then going to go to sensing and drag out or um, distance to mouse pointer oops, and put it in the first divided block by block. Then go to my, my variables and then drag out an airplane speed block. I'm going to, when the green flag is clicked, set the airplane speed to 5. So when I click the green flag, you can see it looks really smooth. And if I go to the middle, it doesn't glitch out. So let's create our enemies. I'm going to right click and press duplicate our airplane. I'm going to call this enemy. The only thing I'm going to do is delete this code and go to costumes and fill this in with a color that's, that looks makes it look like the airplanes are bad with red. Okay, and the outline I want to be red also. The same exact color. Same exact color. Okay. I'm going to go to my code. And let's create some code. I'm going to go to events. When green flag is clicked. Forever. Wait. Go to operators. Pick random. 1 to 10. I'm going to randomize the spawning from 2 to 3. And then I want to go to control, create code myself. I also want to drag out the hide block. So I'm going to click the green flag. It waits a certain number of seconds, a randomized number, and then it creates clone. I'm going to change this to 1 to 3. Then I'm going to go to control and drag out and when I start as a clone. So when I start as a clone, I want the, the Y position to be all the way up here. So I'm going to go to motion, set Y to... I'm going to set this to uh, 180. I'm going to change, oops. Those out, please. I'm going to set the X to a random position. So operators, pick random, negative 240, this side of the screen, to 240, which is that side of the screen. I then want to control, drag out a forever loop. I want to move three steps and point toward the airplane. And we're also missing something. If we go to looks, we can drag out a show block so it shows the airplane. I'm going to click the green flag. See, it spawns airplanes. I think they're moving too fast. I'm going to set this to 1.7. Now let's go to our airplane. I think our airplane speeds too much. Let's set it to three. No, uh, eight. Fifteen. Four. What is going on? Oh, let's set it to eight. There we go. Now it's a lot slower, which I want. Okay, now let's make the airplanes have a health bar. So when we shoot them, their health goes down, and if their health is equal to zero, we can delete them. Let's go to variables and create another variable. I'm going to make for this sprite only, so you can't edit in any other sprites, and we'll call this enemy health. Press OK. I'm going to set the enemy health to a random position. So a random number, I mean, so it can take either uh, two to uh, three hits before it dies. I'm going to hide that. And then let's go to control if, go to uh, sensing, touching bullet. We want to change our airplane health, our enemy health, by negative one. And then our bullets 
we want to if sensing touching enemy then we want to delete this clone okay we also might want to wait like let's put a 0 0.00 0 one in there so it waits a little bit low number of seconds for our enemy to register the bullet before it deletes then we want to go to if uh, operators less than one uh, enemy health is less than one then we want to go to control delete this clone let's test that out okay okay that airplane had two health this one okay i also want to spawn clouds to make it seem more skyish so you know that we're up in the sky. So I'm gonna paint a new sprite. I'm going to call this cloud. And then I'm gonna use the circle tool and make this white for clouds. And then I'm gonna draw, oops, I don't want any outline on it. I'm gonna draw a cloud, which is like a bunch of circles. And then let's, I'm going to copy this, paste it around here. Okay, there goes our first cloud. I want to create multiple clouds, so it's like a random number, a random costume of clouds. I'm going to press duplicate, and then I'm going to delete this and make another cloud be however you want okay first second i'm gonna make one more okay so here goes our three costumes of clouds that we created on a new costume i'm gonna go to our code scroll up to events when green flag is clicked scroll down to control forever wait one second i want to wait pick random from one to two seconds then i want to create a clone i also want to hide this and then we're going to go to control when i start as a clone we want to show and we also want to set x to pick random from 240 to negative 240 from this side of the screen to this side and let's go to looks I want to looks randomize the size I'm gonna go to operators and drag up a pick random 1 to 10 I'm gonna set this to 40 to 130 and I also want to change the ghost effect so it looks transparent I'm gonna go set the ghost to operators pick random from 30 to 80 and when I click, click the green flag where is our clouds oh we also want to set the Y to 180 where's our okay you can see our clouds are up there we also want them to uh, like come down so the airplane looks like it's moving forward I'm gonna go to control forever let's go to motion change y by negative three you can see that those move but the costume is not switching and the it should when it goes to the bottom it doesn't delete so let's do that code so let's go to events if operators less than let's make this negative 180 and then let's go to motion and scroll down until we see this, these y position circle blocks let's change this to y position and then if it's less than that 
which meaning we're down here, we want to delete this clone. We also want to randomize the costumes, so let's go to looks and switch costume to operators, pick random 1 to 10, change this to 1 to 4. So if I click the green flag, you can see these clouds have a random costume, pretty cool, and they delete when they get down to the bottom. Last thing I want to do before we go on to our next tutorial is let's go to variables, make a new variable for this sprite only, um, cloud speed. So we can randomize the speed also because it looks pretty weird, all the clouds moving the same speed. I'm going to set this cloud speed to operators pick random uh, 2 to 5 and then when to negative 2 to 5 to negative 5 then operators I'm going to drag out our cloud speed into move steps so it should have a randomized speed what happened oh let's say this to cloud speed I think I should make this airplane speed delete it and then create airplane speed again for this sprite only so I don't edit it and other sprites accidentally okay what is happening oh I didn't set the airplane speed to 8 what is wrong with these enemies enemy oh huh change this to enemies what? what is going on here seems like this switched okay let me just delete this move three two seven point seven steps I don't need this our cloud and which we want to delete this cloud speed go to our cloud make a variable cloud speed okay we want to set our cloud speed to a random speed from negative 2 to negative 5 and we want to move cloud speed oops great okay so we have our clouds moving in the background and we also have airplanes that spawn in the next tutorial we're going to create a menu screen a game over screen and enemy health see you there